Okay, so what could possibly be in these boxes? Well, if you guess, a Survivor Series Black Bear Camp Stove wood stove. You guess right. So for starters, I went ahead and got the collar that goes on top. Let me set some of this back. Take a look at it. This is the cabin. New. See, make sure you see that. The cabin's new. Wood stove. It kind of comes this way. And like I said, I got the collar. Probably don't need it. Also got the four inch to six inch adapter. So I'm going with a six inch blue in case I ever want to put a bigger wood stove in here. And I probably don't need that collar, it you know, fits fine. But I thought, what the crap, better to have it and not need it than the other way around. Uh, uh, this, here's the screws for the, uh, the sheet metal screws for the, come, comes with sheet metal screws for the, with the collar. So I got that, got that. And then let's look at take a look on the inside. The legs for it are on the inside. I have not put it together yet. Only manual. A little spring handle. The legs attach with these thumb screws. So I'm just going ahead and put them on. You can watch me put them on. Let me check the camera, make sure you're getting everything. Yeah, you will be. Um, the legs. I get the uh, things long -winded. once I get these on uh, I will probably start a fire out here in it yeah. pretty happy so far with the workmanship that I've looked you know I gave uh, I think pack shipping in all around 175 for this takes a maximum of 14 inch long firewood which means I will have to recut some of mine but I'm fine with it there were a couple others that I was looking at um, the I think the one from the uh, woodsman from Northwoods manufacturing very similar stove and it ran about 425. One of the main differences I could, uh, the two differences I could tell between the Northwoods Woodsman and, and this one is that. Okay, let me get that in there. Give me just a second. Let me get this thing started. Not the easiest to start. Was that the Northwoods had a eight by four glass in the front for, for the door and it also was made of eighth inch cold road steel this is um, I forgot what gauge this is but it ended up being about maybe a sixteenth this being a sixteenth less thick than the woodsman so 
So, to me, those two things wasn't worth the extra 200 dollars, whatever. It wasn't worth it. Five. So anyway, hundred seventy-five for this one versus fifteen hundred. Um, there are other ones like the uh, uh, Alpine, which is a half barrel, I think so. It probably worked. It was in the 250, 200, $250 range. Uh oh. I just. Um, yes, this though had good reviews. They make three sizes of this though. This is a middle middle size one. Uh, they make one called the Grizzly, which takes up to I think a 22 inch log. Uh, then they make one a little smaller than this. This thing weighs about I think 60 pounds. <coughs> oh, still loose. <sighs> Yeah, I'm gonna take power pliers, hit those again before I call it good. Let's stand her up. Now you can get optional legs that are longer. You also can get a side shelf. Okay, the side shelf, um, I'm 50 or 60 bucks. I'm like, eh, don't need side shelf that bad. So. Anyway, let's point, point the camera. Let's make, again, make sure I got you in the frame there. So that's the uh, little black bear. Uh, vent. Door latches. Door latches is good. Uh, now it does come with a door seal. Also comes with this uh, piece of metal that will help keep the uh, embers and stuff from getting up against the vent. Um, has a shelf, wedge right in front of it. I assume it helps the same thing. Other than that, not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of, you know, to look at. Just a basically a steel box. Now, what I, else I did order was bottom protectors. Or, yeah, for the bottom of the stove. And hopefully these are the right ones. And they just go in there like that. That helps save the bottom of your stove. Savers go in the bottom, they just help you know, save your bottom. And we all want to save our bottoms, don't we? So, um, there again, there's a little close up of the vent door handle. I mean, this thing isn't heavy duty by any stretch of the imagination. I also bought a because those out, those are the um fire brick for the bottom. So I have two layers of protection. Um, I have the bottom saver metal. You could probably measure that and t and build a frame out of expanded metal or something for a bottom saver. But uh, like I said, the stove was about 175. The collar was 15, I think. Um, that four 
a six inch uh, adapter was about 20. Um, bottom saber and the brick were about 20 to $25 each. And I know it's probably redundant to have brick after you have the metal bottom saber, but um, what the hell? I mean, you know, I, I won't need that whole, that whole space in there because it just doesn't take much for my for my cabin so i'm going to go and get my box all picked up and start a little fire in it right now okay first fire all this stuff's in there Okay, there she is. Well, said she was. Almost had a little rainstorm, windstorm last night. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think we need a very big bar for the first one. That was that one's too long. That didn't look much too long. Woo. Close the door there. <clears throat> That's not gonna be cool if that does that. Well, once I have the stove pipe, it's not gonna, it's gonna draw, so. Woo. Put you in the hole over here. It'll be interesting to see how this little stove works in the cabin. I think it's going to work just fine. And this is, like I said, it's the uh, England's Survivor Camp Stove, the Black Bear. There we go. There we go. You know, I'll probably end up building me a stove similar to the Morso wood stove, the squirrel stove. It the, the squirrel stove takes a maximum of um, 12 inch wood, and which is more than enough. That's one thing I was worried about the Yodel 602. It takes a maximum of 16 inch wood. I have a lot of wood cut 15, 16 inches long. Um, I was worried that. Um, that may be a little too much for that little cabin. These pieces here, most of those are over 14 inches right there. So that's why they're in there kind of sideways a little bit. Now my only concern is the burn time. I don't know what it's going to be, obviously. Give her more air because we don't have a stack to draw, make her draw. Okay, I just had to bring my adapter out and see if it would smoke with the um, without the collar. And sure enough, I mean, um, if this thing's drawing the way it will, your connections will not smoke. So I added some more. Um, bark in there to get those little bigger logs going good there we go yes there yeah. 
Yes, sir. This is, you know, I think it's pretty, pretty hot already. So anyway, I just want to show you that. The thing is, if, if, like I said, if it's put on there, if you, you know, obviously that's not long enough to draw the way it should, but it's not a big stove. Shouldn't take much to draw. We'll have about 12 feet of, um, uh, 10 to 12 feet probably a pipe when I get done. It does take a four inch. So if you do get it and you, you have a six inch or eight, you'll need adapter like this. Just thought I'd bring show you all that in this video. And I just want to see what it looked like on there.